Once in a while, I would get a service repair call to go look at a thermostat that is not working correctly for heating or air conditioner, and I would get out there and I would knock on the door, Grandma Susan opens the door and takes me to a thermostat, and I ask, well, Grandma Susan, what seems to be the problem with the thermostat? And she is very happy that I asked and proceeds for the next three minutes to tell me how much she hates this thermostat. All the extra buttons, the programming, all the auto stuff, the smart features, the Wi-Fi, she doesn't like any of it. In fact, she wishes it was as simple as just on, air conditioner on, off, air conditioner off. And hearing stuff like that gives me a great idea. This idea is not very practical, so I would not suggest doing this yourself. In fact, I would not do this for a customer even if they asked because it just seems like a bad idea. But for education and demonstration purposes, allow me to show you how to convert a thermostat into an on-off switch. So what we have here is a basic programmable thermostat. And just a heads up, what I'm going to show you will not work on a heat pump or a communicating system. And of course, if you were actually going to do this at a house, the first thing you would do is turn the power off to the furnace before you start doing anything with the thermostat. And the first thing we're going to need to do is to take the thermostat off the wall. We're going to go ahead and take the face off first. And then I'm going to go ahead and loosen these screws to get the thermostat wires out before I proceed to take this piece off as well. One thing that I like to do when I take these wires off is to just spread them out like this so they don't slide back into the wall and fall into the abyss. And of course, I must ask, what color do you think is better, the blue or the gray? The electrical box I chose was the gray, and that is simply because the blue one didn't have these swing out tabs which the gray one did. So this is gonna work out perfect so I can attach it right to the drywall and then we can mount our switch right in here. Before I started cutting this out, I checked the wires and looked where they were going. They were headed this way. That's why I didn't cut this side all the way through. I didn't want to accidentally cut the wires. On second thought, I'm going to go ahead and cut these little corners off as well. Since the wire is on the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead and get this bottom knockout on the box out. Well, I finally got the box in and it doesn't look very good, but I think it'll work. For our purpose, this is going to work. Now we just need to put in our switch. And to summarize it, all we're doing here is putting the hot side on one side of the switch and the air conditioner or the furnace on the other side. And when you turn the switch on or off, that will turn the furnace or the air conditioner on or off. So if you were wiring your furnace to a regular light switch like this, we're gonna need our power, which is usually the red wire, R, to go on one side. So let's go ahead and just put this red wire in here right away. And on the other side, we're going to want our heating wire, which is normally going to be the white wire, the W. The W would go on the other side. So let's go ahead and tighten that down too. Just like that. And with this setup here, this light switch would turn the furnace on and turn the furnace off just with this switch alone. Now, if you wanted to hook up the air conditioner, it would be just a little bit different. Of course, instead of the white wire, the heating, we're gonna want our yellow wire, Y, which is gonna be our cooling, to go in here. And we're also gonna want the indoor fan, G, which is typically the green wire, to go in the same terminal as well. So with this setup right here, this switch will turn the air conditioner on and off. As for the rest of the wires that are left unused, you could simply throw a wire nut on them. And that should be good enough. So let's go ahead and leave this wired up as an air conditioner and put this all together.
And of course, I do want to hide the mess I made, so let's complete this project with a nice little wall plate. And for an extra fee, I do offer engraving services to remind you what this light switch does. And there you have it, a fully manual air conditioner thermostat. This is literally as manual as it gets. Have you ever seen a shocked outlet? On the top left, you can find an example of how one would look like. And if you ever find yourself not knowing what present to get for your electrician friend, on the bottom left is a great gift idea.